hello creatives welcome back again to my channel so i want to teach you how i made a crinoline spiral fascinator so these are the materials i'll be making use of my crinoline this is the the big size of crinoline my felt cap these are an already made cap so you can find it in the market then i have this silver shiny trimming and my millinery wire that's the normal wire we use in hat making and then the pin trade and my scissors please if this is your first time welcome to my channel so let's start and for the crinoline it will be the same measurement as the millinery wire so I don't I don't feel like telling you the exact measurement but I will just tell you the range so you can actually use anything from 20 inches up for the length of your crinoline okay and I'm going to place my wire I'll fold the crinoline into two and then I'm going to place the wire at the edge of it can you see how I did that so I'm going to tie them together and I will also sew it to, on the edge of the uh, crinoline so I would like you to practice any length of your choice your crinoline can be anything from 20 inches and above okay so you can actually use 30 inches 40 inches depending on how you want the spiral fascinator to appear okay so I'm going to be sewing this at the edge can you see how I did that remember to fold the crinoline into two then you sew the wire at the edge This is it. I've sewn it to the other end and I've also tied the other end. So the next thing is I will take up my trimming. That's what I will use to cover my wire. Okay. I will use it to I will sew it to that edge. This is a kind of a design and also it will serve as a as something just to use to cover the wire okay so you can actually use the same color of crinoline just prefer to use a silver trimming so you can actually use blue or any color of your choice okay so you can try this out and uh, I would love to see the outcome if you follow me on Facebook Nike collections you can actually uh, send it to my inbox let me see let me see what you did okay so follow this video to the end to see how I I made the spiral fascinator so I'm going to pin it all through before sewing I love to pin it first okay before sewing it So I will pin it to the end and then I will take it to my sewing machine and sew it. You can actually use a gun. Some people prefer using a glue gun or a fabric glue but I prefer to sew. 
it lasts longer okay so now that I've gotten to the other end I'm going to cut off the excess and I will also fold it in and uh, pin it and then I will sew so can you see that okay so this is it after sewing and I will keep it aside now I want to attach the uh, elastic what I use is a measurement of 17 inches for my elastic so I'm going to attach it to my felt cap and I'll also sew it okay so you can you can you make use of a Alice band but for this video I'm using the elastic okay so I'll sew the other side also to the felt cap So I'm going to tie the thread to secure it as well. And this is it. I've attached my elastic to the felt cap. Now it's time for me to form the spiral and uh, you will pay attention and uh, watch how I formed it please if you enjoyed this video just watch let me just put it that way please encourage me and uh, like this video feel free to share it but please don't resell don't sell this video is actually free it's a free training don't sell and please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel I will encourage you to, to subscribe because uh, more content on how to make headwears will also be uploaded okay so please like my videos feel free to share my channel and then subscribe if you are yet to do so you can actually follow me on Instagram at Naked Collections on Facebook Naked Collection and you can also join my facebook group which is diy fascinators and headpieces on facebook okay you can also share if you practice this and which i encourage you to do don't just watch and uh, learn and i will encourage you to practice okay so after practice you can also share the picture on the facebook group which is diy fascinators and headpieces okay thank you so much for joining me in uh, in today's tutorial i appreciate please like this video and don't forget if you have any question at all you can leave it in the comment section okay you can follow me on all other platform and i will also leave my handles on the description sec section i'm on facebook and instagram at, as naked collections okay so now that i have formed the spiral and i've also attached it to the felt cap now i can i can actually cover that part 
can actually cover that part so that the thread the whole thing won't be showing and this is how I do it I can use any piece of fabric and in this video I want to make use of the trimmings I simply apply my glue and then I'll glue it to that part this is to make sure that I have a very neat work and a neat finishing okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please like like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you for joining me and see you in my next video thank you